first round draft picks. I've always been fascinated with the complete and other stigma around trading them. It's almost like you can make a trade for any player, and as long as there's at least one first round pick involved, it's justified. But why? Why does the NHL place so much value on draft picks? Well, it's because we've seen first round picks, whether they're in the top 10 or in the late round, single-handedly change the face of a franchise. And there's a reason why teams who have the most success have homegrown talents. And sometimes we see teams give up on their first round picks that eventually turn into superstars. In today's video, we're gonna cover when trading a first round pick completely blows up in your face. So has your team ever traded away a first round pick that turned into a star? Comment down below. And a quick shout out to today's sponsor, which is Silky Hockey. They sell hockey training equipment to help you improve your stick handling, your puck control, and your hand-eye coordination. Because this equipment is exactly what I wish I had growing up. So the holidays fast approaching, this is the perfect gift to buy for yourself or someone you know to help them improve their stick handling abilities. Silky Hockey also provides free shipping to Canada and the United States. Their products are lightweight, it's easy to change configurations, and no setup is required. So check them out at silkyhockey.com, link will be down below. We will start with the Eric Carlson disaster. And I feel like lots of people tend to forget, but Eric Carlson himself was the result of a draft day trade-up. Because during the 2008 NHL draft, the Ottawa Senators would trade up last second, giving up the 18th overall pick, which turned out to be Chet Picard, and a third rounder for the 15th overall pick, so they could draft who else but Eric Carlson, who would go on to being arguably the best senator in franchise history, on top of winning two Norris trophies. But drama happened, and the absolute implosion of the Ottawa Senators, which would lead to constant Eric Carlson trade rumors, which of course would lead to Eric Carlson being shipped off to San Jose in a blockbuster deal setting roster players, prospects, and draft picks to Ottawa. And at the time, the San Jose Sharks were a top competitor in the West. So the fact they acquired one of the best puck moving defensemen in NHL history was an extremely scary thought. And the public perception on this trade was mixed. Some people thought Ottawa got an okay amount of assets, but it just wasn't quite enough. And most people thought they got absolutely fleeced by the Sharks. A very polarizing trade that many would instantly claim as a robbery. But shocking everyone, the San Jose Sharks would go from a Stanley Cup favorite to finishing third last in the entire NHL. An extremely rare downfall that happens once in a blue moon. And with that comes the first round pick. In a trade scenario where nobody could have possibly imagined the Sharks being a bottom team, San Jose's traded pick would end up being the third overall pick and an extremely strong draft class. And with that, the Ottawa Senators would draft Tim Stutzla, a potential franchise centerman who may just have the power to single-handedly reinvent the Senators franchise. And this trade really just emphasizes the wildcard effect that is instilled in every trade that involves a first round pick. It was impossible to believe the Senators would ever come close to redeeming themselves from this trade. But not even two years later, largely due in part to this trade, the Senators now have one of the best up and coming cores with Tim Stutzla leading the charge. Next, with the Detroit Red Wings. And for literal decades, the Wings developed a reputation for stellar scouting. We're talking to Pavel Datsuk, Henrik Zetterberg, Nicholas Lindstrom. The sheer track record of drafting Hall of Famers outside the first round, to be honest, Makes, makes me want to puke. However, on February 21st, we would see the Wings make a massive hiccup in their otherwise strong draft history, as they would trade their 2012 first round pick for Kyle Quincy. And at the time, Quincy was a solid top four defender. And with an aging veteran core, the Wings at the time wanted to bring in more star power to get some results from their star studded lineup. But after one above average season, Kyle Quincy's game would fall off a cliff. His offense would be non-existent, his defensive game would see massive regression, he still served as a top six option, but instead of drafting a future Hall of Famer, the Wings would lose one. As the Tampa Bay Lightning with the 19th overall pick would draft Andre Vasilevsky. A top five goaltender in the NHL, a Vezina winner, and of course, a Stanley Cup champion. 
Another fleece job made by who else but Steve Eiserman. And all they had to give up for getting a Vesna winner was a regressing Kyle Quincy. Next, we have the Toronto Maple Leafs. And during the 2011 NHL draft, we would see the Leafs zone in on one player and trade up. As Brian Burke sent pick number 30 and 39 so that he could move up 8 spots. A fairly standard transaction we see in almost every draft. Except, well, they drafted Tyler Biggs. Who was projected to be a premier power forward goal scorer. And well, if you're a Leafs fan, you know how that one turned out. Because it didn't turn out at all. As Tyler Biggs would fail to play a single game in the NHL. Now, he was of course a late first round pick, and we see players like this not turn out all the time. But what's extremely unfortunate about this trade is that with the 30th overall pick, the Ducks would go on to select Rickard Raquel, a rugged, hardworking 30 goal scorer who's been a very bright spot on a rebuilding Ducks roster, and the exact player Brian Burke wants. And to add some more salt to the wounds, like a lot of salt, the second round pick turned out to be John Gibson, an elite starting goaltender that would have solved many of the Leafs problems before they got Anderson. Next, we have the Montreal Canadiens, who had one of the best draft hauls in the modern NHL era. Because after a very disappointing regular season, the Habs needed a roster change. So they traded Craig Reve, who was a great veteran leader and a solid top four defenseman, to the San Jose Sharks. And in return, they got Josh Georges and a 2007 first round pick. A seemingly harmless trade. However, Reve would have a very short tenure in San Jose, as he'd be shipped off not even two years later for two second round picks. And as for Montreal, Josh Georges alone were proved to be worth the price of omission as he would spend six consistent seasons with the organization. But that's not all. The first round pick they also acquired would turn out to be Max Pacioretty, a future 40 goal scorer and the captain of the Montreal Canadiens. And what's absolutely absurd about this draft is the fact with their first three picks, the Montreal Canadiens would draft Ryan McDonough, Max Pacioretty, and P.K. Subban. An absolutely insane draft haul a draft hall that could change the fate of any franchise. And this trade, supplemented with the perfect storm of drafting, is the epitome on why the draft still remains one of the most, if not the most, exciting parts of all of hockey. Because not only did Montreal draft three future stars, but they did so being outside the top 10. These success stories are why first round picks have so much intrinsic value. They're basically lottery tickets that teams can control the fate of. And even though most first rounders do not develop into stars, the what if factor is strong enough to keep first round picks as the most valuable assets in all of hockey. Anyways guys, has your team ever had that first round pick they traded that eventually turned into a star? Comment down below, I'd love to know. And make sure to go check out today's sponsor which is Silky Hockey. Link is down below, go check him out. But anyways guys, I'm feeling a bit better today. Thank you guys for the continued support. It's been awesome. Let's keep the grind going. Hope you guys are all doing well. See you guys later.